Hello, third year, how are you today? Well, today is Wednesday, the 23rd of September. Today we are going to analyze the mistake from the revision. Remember to open your files, uh, see your corrections with um, attention, please. Yes, carefully. You are going to write one example with each correction. Yes, okay. So if you have mistakes, for example, with um, digital technology, you are going to write a sentence using digital technology. Suppose you didn't remember how to, um, uh, or didn't remember another vocabulary word, most creative, and you are going to write a sentence using most creative. So this is the most creative man, man I have met, for example. If you have, uh, if you have uh, problems with the grammar, you are going to write one sentence with one example with the grammar or vocabulary. And then you are going to watch, uh, you are going to do the exercises from video watch, pages 138, 139, uh, unit 11F. Is it clear? Right? Well, shall we start? Okay. How did you spend your day? Yes, it was a very beautiful day on the 21st. Yes, okay. Well, so there we go. So in the first part, yes, where you have the biography, yes, okay, cada uno puede seguir en su uh, copia, yes, en su classroom. Father, uh, number one was uh, as the father, Steve Jobs is known as the father of digital age, Number two, digital technology. Number three, grew up. Number four, started. Number five, returned. Number six, in charge. Number seven, most creative. Yes, and then 1D, 2A, 3B, 4C. Yes, that was the reading part. Then we have the grammar part. Yes, there we are. We are good. Well, so number one, known. Yes, okay, I will make it bigger. <clears throat> Sorry. Number one, known. Yes, she is best known. Es conocida. Number three, helped. Helped. Yes, she also helped. No, fue ayudada. Ayudó. Yes, be awarded. Yes, okay. Yes, a woman to be awarded. Number five, completed. Yes, which she completely completed, que completó. Number six, made. She made. Number seven, was given. Le fue dado, sí, okay. Number eight, wrote. Number nine, where. Yes, number nine, where. Which, where, a qué se refiere? A esas cartas, yes, the letters. Okay, uh, number four, was, made, fue, tal, okay. Exercise two, yes, okay, good. So you have to rewrite it. Philip said, Philip said, yes, Philip said, he loved I love reading, están presente, presente, pasa, pasado. He loved reading biographies of famous individuals. Number three, están presente, yes, I am watching, pasa, pasado. Ella dijo que ella estaba mirando. She was watching the documentary. Documentary. Four, yes, están pasado, pasa, pasado, perfecto. Lo tenés que saber de memoria eso. Yes, hadn't visited the ancient tombs. Four. Está en pasado. ¿A qué tiempo va a pasar? Ha pasado perfecto. Hay dos que pasan a pasado perfecto. Presente perfecto y eh, pasado simple. Yes, ok. Uh, had be, eh, many of the statues had gone. Porque ahí dice, muchas de las estatuas se han ido. Ella dijo que muchas de las estatuas se habían ido. Yes. Indirect, uh, indirect speech. Report speech. 
seven, eh, eh, six, they would, will, pass a would. We will visit, dice. Entonces, eh, mis papás dijeron que visitarían. They would visit the Coliseum when they were in Rome. Number seven. Yes, okay, playing video games. Can, pasa, could. Yes, could change people's brain. Los cambios son muy, pero muy, pero muy importantes. Si no te sabes los cambios, no lo vas a poder resolver. En el ejercicio 3, number 2 is ok, number 3, had, read, number 4, set, also possible, told us, number 5, tick, and number 6, told. Acordate, cuando yo voy a usar told, voy a poner he para decir, él me dijo, told me, le dijo, told him, le dijo a ella, told her, nos dijo, told us, les dijo, told them, ¿sí? Él le dijo a alguien. Yes. Ahora, cuando yo voy a usar, cuando voy a usar, he said that, él dijo que that she would go to Miami. Él dijo que, no estoy diciendo él le dijo a alguien, ¿está? Entonces, atención cuando usar said, say o eh, tell, yes, said o told. Yes, ok. Exercise 4, atención aquí. I'm tired. Yes, he said hi and asked him how I was. Yes, okay. Good. Number two, perdón. I said hello. I was tired. Entonces, ¿qué dijo él? Ahora está en el estilo indirecto, tengo que pasar al estilo directo. ¿Qué dijo? Está en pasado. Yes, I was tired. Yes, entonces voy a poner el presente. I am tired. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Ay. Yes. Entre comillas, I am tired. Esto está en el estilo directo. Si yo lo paso, teacher said she was tired. ¿Sí? Ruth says she was tired. ¿Y cómo lo tengo que pasar? Ya está en el estilo indirecto. ¿Y cómo lo tengo que pasar al estilo directo? Está en pasado. A la inversa. Pasa presente. Ruth said I am tired. ¿Yes? ¿Está claro? ¿Yes? Ok. Uh, because I visited the archaeology museum earlier. ¿Yes? I had visited. Entonces, ¿qué voy a poner? ¿Cuál es el que pasa pasado perfecto? Un present perfect o un past. ¿Está? ¿Ok? I visited. ¿Ok? And number three. Yes, the old man, he was going to the museum in the afternoon. Yes, está en pasado. He was going. I am going to go. Yes, ¿ok? ¿Está claro? Entonces, hacemos esa inversa. Yes, ¿ok? Uh, vamos al otro. He asked me. What I was doing next. Yes. Y la pregunta sería, está en pasado, pasa presente, continuo. Yes, ok. What are you doing? Yes. What are you doing next? Teacher said, entre comillas, what are you doing? Y si quiero pasarlo al estilo indirecto, teacher said, or oh, asked me, what I was going, what I was doing. Yes, ok. I was doing next. Uh, 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 um. Bueno, I told him I was staying at the hotel to have lunch. Está en pasado continuo, tiene que estar en presente para que sea el directo. Yes, I am staying at the hotel. Ah, uh, uh, he would see me. He would see me. Ojo que la L no suena. Would see me. Would is will, ok? Yes, I will see you. Yes, teacher said she will see me. Entonces, atención a esos cambios en el 5, 2B, 3B, 5B, 5A y 6A. ¿Está? Yes, ok. 2B. He told me he was giving. 3B. She asked me when they could start. Yes, ok. Uh, 4B. Marian only told a quién. One or two people, one or two people. Yes, no puede ser said ahí. 5A, 5A. Did the article say? 
Yes, no tell, porque tell tiene que decirle a alguien. Yes, says a. Yes, set es. Told somebody, ya dije told him, told her, o say something to somebody. She said, yes, that, mm -mm, yes, por ejemplo en este caso. She said to us, en el último, porque teníamos cinco A, yes, ok. Ahí tenés esta. Say to somebody something. Yes, ok. She said to me the truth. Bueno, well, es tell es con the truth. She said to me she was sick. She said to Peter, yes, she was going to the doctor. Yes, entonces atención ahí. Tell somebody something. She, tell, she told me the truth. Yes, porque eso es una collocation. Say, said to somebody something. Yes, as I said to him that I was sick. Yes, is it clear? Good. Well, so uh, organize your ideas. Write an example. Yes, with each mistake, with a correction. Okay, is it clear? So now we are going to go... To pages 138, 139. Yes, please. Okay, good. Are you ready? So we're going to uh, do exercises 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Is it clear? So I want you to highlight spacecraft launched. Solar system, space, mission, function, classical, life forms, universe. Yes, okay. In exercise two it says, do you think it's important for humans to learn more about space with uh, space spacecraft like Voyage, 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 yes. Why, why not? Yes. So we are going to watch the video. Don't the tiger loves lying. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Don't the tiger loves lying around and relaxing. Wait a minute. This is it, okay? Well, so um, it says, do you think it's important for humans to learn more about space uh, space in general? Yes, why, why not? Then we're going to go to exercise three, and it says, watch the video about uh, this uh, voyager, voyage, yes, okay? And the planet, the planet, Jupiter, yes, okay? And you're going to do Exercise four, yes, okay, true or false, and five, yes, okay, answer the questions. Is it clear? So, you are going to watch a video about uh, this um, voyager, yes, okay, wait a minute. I will check the pronunciation. It's voyage, yes, okay. we are. This is very easy to check pronunciation. Voyager. Voyager. Yeah. Voyager. Voyager. Wait a minute. Okay. Voyager, yes, Voyager, yes, okay. Voyager. Voyager, yes, okay. 
So it says, um, Voyager 1, read the sentences with the words in bold are used, yes, uh, in the video. So we have number one, a launched B, spacecraft. Two, a solar system B, space. Three, a mission C, a B, sorry, function. A classical B, jazz. Uh, a universe B, life forms, okay? So it says, uh, do you think uh, it's important for humans to learn more about space with uh, spacecraft like uh, Voyager? Yes, okay, Voyager. Yes, yes, reasons for exploring space include finding out more about how the universe uh, works, uh, yes, developing science and technology, trying to find out, find out new life, yes, in another planet, yes, or way uh, that we might leave our planet and leave space, in space, reasons again, so why, yes, uh, we shouldn't know, yes, things about space and everything. Reasons against include the enormous cost of space exploration. Yes, in, we, everybody knows that space exploration uh, exploration is very expensive. And the fact that the space is so big, we may uh, not find anything out there. I think it is something out there, yes. But it is very expensive, yes, okay. Um, all the things uh, that has to be with expect space exploration, yes, okay? Well, there we go. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Gotcha. Hello from the children of planet Earth. Hello from the children of planet Earth. That child's voice is a recorded message, and the spacecraft Voyager 1 is currently oh, carrying it further into space. There we are. Hello from the children of planet Earth. That child's voice is a recorded message, and the spacecraft Voyager 1 is currently carrying it further into space. The spacecraft Voyager 1 was launched on the 20th of August 1977. Its mission was to fly past the planets of Jupiter and Saturn. Yes, Jupiter and Saturn. And send back photographs to help scientists understand more about the two planets. Okay, so. What was that mission about? Send photos about how uh, Jupiter and Saturn work. Yes, how they live there. Yes, okay, the life. Was there life there? And our solar system. And the solar system. Over 40 years later, Voyager 1 has completed its first mission successfully, but it still has an important function as well as sending messages back home, Voyager carries a message for other life forms in the universe. Okay, so it has to send messages. Yes, okay, is it clear? Send mes messages back to Earth. As well as sending messages back home, Voyager carries a message for other life forms in the universe. Yes, and other forms of life in the universe. When scientists built Voyager 1, they fixed a golden record onto the side of the spacecraft. It has different information about the Earth in 1977. It was very difficult to choose what information to put on the record. And so it took a team of six people nearly a year to decide. Nearly a yearly to decide what information they were going to include in that record. Yes, that's six people working on that. First of all, 
The team chose 116 photographs in black and white and in color. These show pictures of Earth, pictures of human life, including a human skeleton, a baby growing inside its mother, and pictures of families. Okay, these were all the things that were um, included in that record, yes? Uh, a baby inside its mother, yes? Family photos, yes? Okay, the skeleton, people doing uh, routine activities like running. There are also photographs of animals and different places on Earth, including cities, deserts, and oceans. Different parts. Another part of the record is called the sounds of Earth. The 12 minutes of recording includes the sound of wind and rain. The sound. This was the other part. The sound of word, of Earth. Yes, the wind, yes, the sound of, uh, you know, the, earth, the, um, the, the ocean, yes. A volcano. Birds and frogs. The human heart. And a child crying. Music was also important on the record, and pieces were chosen to represent different parts of the world. There's classical music from Europe, such as pieces by Bach, and more modern jazz recordings by Louis Armstrong. There's also traditional music representing different cultures. Music, not all, um, the sound of nature, the sound of uh, music from different parts of the, 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 the places in the earth, yes. From places like Azerbaijan, New Guinea, China, India and Peru. And finally, there are recordings of human voices from Earth. Hello from the children of planet Earth. All the recordings are short messages with greetings. In okay, good. Uh, that's very interesting. Voices with messages. You know, hello from the children from planet Earth. And messages. French. Bonjour tout le monde. In Japanese. Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? In Arabic. Tahiyyatuna lil astiqa' fin nujum, ya layta yajma'una al-zaman. And Mandarin Chinese. Kawai to hao ba, wome to hen shang lian ni men, yu kong qin dao zer lai wan. In total, there are 55 different greetings in 55 different languages. 55 different greetings and messages. Yes, that's great. Yes. So as Voyager 1 finally leaves the Earth's solar system and travels into interstellar space, it carries a message with it. And who knows? Maybe someday someone or something will listen to the messages and send a reply. So what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Do you think these messages will be replied, will be answered? So that would, or they will be there, left in the space, yes? I think, I really think that these messages will be answered. I don't know when, yes, I don't know who, yes, is going to answer, yes, all these messages, but I think they are going to be answered. Yes, okay, because I think our world is very big, yes, so it could be impossible that only us, human, live here, yes, so I think there, there, there must be, yes, something out there, yes, okay, that's my opinion, what do you think at home, yes, well, the true or false, um, number four, you have to listen again, watch it again, because I will send it to you, 
the video to you. One, so first of all, post the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. One true, two true, three false, four true, five false. Yes, okay? Good. And exercise five. Yes, okay? Well, so it says 116 photos in black and white and color. They show picture of earth, picture of a human, yes, do, doing different activities. Yes, uh, you know, a baby inside its mother, a skeleton, um, uh, somebody running, yes. Um, what else? There are, there are also photos of animals, uh, photos of different places in earth, yes, including cities, uh, deserts and ocean. And there was another part, yes, uh, with sound, sound, sound of nature, sound of uh, different songs, um, from different places, okay? Well, so, uh, do this uh, plus the sentences with the corrections, yes, not only with the grammar, but also with the vocabulary. All vocabulary words must be written with the, with the example there from the cuaderno que les dije que hablen de la A a la Z, yes, in the uh, notebook of from the A to Z, okay? Have a nice weekend, study, see you next class. Bye-bye.